Due to the interest in our original video about famous graves in the city of Paris, we have decided to share with you one more. You can find the link to the first video in this video's description. Père Lachaise Cemetery is home to many historical celebrities. One of the most prominent is Oscar Wilde. He was an Irish poet and playwright. After writing in different forms throughout the 1880s, he became one of the most popular playwrights in London just a decade later. He is best remembered for his epigrams and plays. His novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray, and the scandalous circumstances of his criminal conviction for gross indecency for consensual homosexual acts in one of the first celebrity trials. After his subsequent imprisonment, he unfortunately suffered an early death from meningitis at just the age of 46. As you can tell, he was a flamboyant, creative character and is rightly remembered as a pillar of gay rights. In 1908, Oscar Wilde's literary executor, Robert Ross, chose Jacob Epstein for the commission of the tomb at a cost of £2,000. This was only Epstein's second commission, his first being the sculpture for the Holden-designed British Medical Association building in the Strand, London. These had been severely criticised for being too sexualised for public consumption. The choice of Oscar Wilde's monument also created controversy. Wilde supporters would have liked for the monument to derive in some way from Wilde's works such as The Young King by invoking homoerotica with figures of forlorn Greek youths, whereas Wilde's detractors believed that he was deserving of no monument at all. You can see the influences of Wilde's works in Epstein's original sketches for the tomb, which feature two young men, heads downcast in an image of grief and sorrow upon an empty stone slab. However, Epstein has said of his first sketches of the tomb that he was dissatisfied and scrapped quite completed work. The final tomb for Oscar Wilde began as a 20-ton block of stone in England, unveiled to the London press in June 1912. Epstein created a vast winged figure, a messenger in the form of a sphinx, swiftly moving with vertical wings, giving the feeling of forward flight. The conception was purely symbolical, the idea of a poet as a messenger, but many people tried to read into it as a portrait of Oscar Wilde himself. Now, the issue was that the phallus of the statue was very prominent. Legend has it that in 1961, two English women, shocked by the sight of this virile member, emasculated the sculpture with stones they found nearby or possibly their umbrella handles. Luckily, the dismembered stone body part was recovered by a museum curator and the genitalia since then has actually served as a paperweight in the office. Furthermore, there is a superstition surrounding the sculpture of the tomb. In the 1990s, the monument became the subject of a strange ritual. Nobody really knows why, but the admirers of the famous poet developed the habit of coming to kiss the stone whilst wearing lipstick. A tribute that was probably intended for good it was a kiss of remembrance for Oscar Wilde, who was imprisoned within, has sadly damaged the sculpture over the years. So, in 2011, plastic windows two metres high were installed around the stone walls to prevent his admirers from climbing on the nearby grave. We are sure that wherever he is now, Oscar would be looking at the scene with amusement. Even after his death, he was still a celebrity who commanded the attention of an adoring fan base. 
Not bad for a small boy from Victorian Dublin. <laughs> 